Welcome to the Microsoft Project Demonstration. This is part one, which is focusing on adding subtasks to a plan. The skills covered are to insert tasks, indent tasks, reorder tasks, and rename tasks. Here is a project plan. It's a starting point. It's a template with some project phase names. Our objective is to add two or three tasks for each phase. This provides the initial work breakdown structure. Starting with the define project phase, let's say that we have a couple tasks that we want to insert. What I do first is select the first line below it so that I can insert. On the menu bar I click insert and new task. This creates a new line above the selected cell. Now I'm ready to enter a name of a task. Let's say the first task is prepare a statement of work. Great. Now I want to make sure that this task is actually grouped under the define project main task. So after I select it with my cursor, look in the upper menu bar for a green arrow and you'll find it on your software. It will say indent if you hover over the arrow. Click indent. Now you can see that on the project plan I have not pressed any space bars or tab keys, but the prepare statement of work task is now indented under define project, and define project has turned bold. That's perfect. Now I'm going to insert one more task by going to the row three, insert a new task, and we'll call this one conduct project kickoff. As you can see, it followed the same indenting as the task above it. Great, now let's work on a couple tasks for design and develop solution. Again, I click the task beneath it, and I can press insert new task. I'm going to do it twice this time so I have my entry area all set for me. Let's say the first task is create business requirements. And maybe the next one is create functional specifications. We can actually select both of those tasks and then do the insert function again by looking for the green arrow on the top, indent. It's a green arrow pointing to the right. And when I click that, they both get indented under design and develop solution. Great, now we just have a couple more phases to work on. This time I'm going to insert uh, a couple lines again and for test solution Let's say that we have uh, prepare test scenarios and execute testing. So prepare test scenarios and execute testing. Again, I will select the lines with my cursor and then go to the upper right for the indent, the green arrow, and both tasks move over. Our final phase, I can just type underneath. Let's say we release the solution to production. and we're going to monitor the system, which later we might make a two-week task and that would be the end of the project. I'm going to select both tasks again and indent. And now as you can see we have uh, some phases which in this project are all bold and they turn bold automatically because we had indented the tasks beneath.
Now let's say that you want to move some tasks around. That's no problem at all. Simply uh, select the task that you want to move. Let's say we want to put the Create Functional Specifications task above the business requirements. First I select it on the left, and now I'm going to hold down my left mouse button and drag it above the business requirements. When I release, everything is moved. You can also select multiple lines and move them to entirely different areas on the project plan. If I slide it up to define project, everything moved. I'm going to put it back where it was. Also a couple viewing tips. The vertical bars are set on the gray menu titles and you can drag those around to save space or to expand them and see all of your task names or if you just double click it automatically sizes to the right size. When you're done with your assignments make sure you check to see everything is indented okay. I see that I've forgotten to re-indent these two tasks under design and develop solution so I select and indent and now I've completed the project updates for this assignment. Building your task structure is the first step in creating a project plan. So with this demonstration we have created all the tasks we need. Later you can provide team member names, you can assign tasks to people, you can work on parameters that will help build and forecast your schedule. All of those are exciting things we can do later.